this is a, a sink it's been removed from the bathroom but the the knob actually failed and popped off and the pressure from the uh, home water did uh, end up flooding this home I'm gonna take you through the home it's here in Albuquerque it's already been mitigated at this point and we're getting ready to put it back together water is very destructive as you can see as we come through this is the front door to the home come through to uh, the hallway where the water soaked into this drywall now unfortunately this drywall and everything in this home because of the way it was constructed had vapor barriers built in so even the interior walls like in this bedroom that we can normally dry in place according to the uh, IICRC standard white paper that was put out in 2003 according to in place drying we had to actually remove that the carpet in this home was uh, saturated pre-loss and uh, it did delaminate and that was our reason for removing it but uh, the insurance company was very gracious because of the delamination and because of the uh, the pet urine that was in it they allowed for that to be removed uh, same thing in this bedroom the uh, carpeting was removed we're going to replace that with a light kind of quality some wet walls here we're getting real close to the uh, area where the flood occurred which was right here in this bathroom so you can see the construction of this home is a little unusual in that the uh, walls are, are brick or cinder block it's an older home so right here is where that sink was and this is the entire problem was right here and so all of this drywall because of the spray soaked up the water and because of that vapor barrier I was talking about had to be removed so we're going to end up putting together a brand new bathroom in here the uh, tile on the floor is good we're going to create a new enclosure we're going to put up dura rock first to guard against any uh, any moisture problems that may occur in the future so this is a look at the home as it is today three bedrooms kind of a standard water loss and we'll get another look at it after some of the construction is done I think your 11 o'clock is just going to be going, taking some minutes. All right, so here we are. We got uh, a lot of the initial construction done. And you can see here, we have a beautiful match. Of course, when the paint goes on, it'll look better. Got some paint going on here in this bedroom. You can see all the drywall's been put back. Chris is working hard getting the coverage in here. You can see how nice of a match we have. You can't even see the difference here from where it was uh, cut and where it is now with the texture. Going down the hall to the back bedroom. Oh, that's been taken care of. We're going to have it painted here today. Wait till you see the tile work in the bathroom. The client picked out the, uh, the type of tile and the accents, asked for some Michios. Almost done here with that. I have a couple areas to, to seal up. But you can see how nicely this is coming together. This is going to be a very nice bathroom. The walls are all put back together. The appearance of the whole house has just come way out. So we'll come back in after everything's done, give you a look at the final. Okay, so here we are in the final walkthrough. Have a uh, little bit of tile and floor cleaning to do, but you can see that everything has been put back nicely. Here is the kitchen. Just got it back together, gave it some nice paint, make it look nice again. 
some brand new carpet in here. You can see how the walls are painted a, a color that the customer chose. So we're able to get a little bit of uh, um, their options put together for them. All the walls are back. The texture match is good. Down the hallway, everything is nice, pleasing color. Goes nicely with the the exposed wood, which is a really nice touch in this home. It's a beautiful home. New carpet in this room. All the walls are back together. And new carpet in the back room. Fresh paint, looking good. Ready for somebody to move in here. And then finally the bathroom. Let's see, uh, we got a little darker color in here to match the tile. Once again, the customer had an eye for color and she chose uh, to uh, have a little bit of an accent. Put in these Vigas, nice accent wall. Tuck us back in. Have a nice vanity. And the mirror, you can see my big butt. And then, of course, right here, the uh, commode and all the, the baseboard put back in together. So, as you can see, this is uh, a nice job completed. One of the nice things about hiring a restoration company that can do everything is you don't have any finger pointing and you don't have trouble with scheduling because it's all done in one place. So next time that you uh, have a water damage, a fire damage, or suspect mold, consider calling 24-7 ERS and let us take care of it for you. Thanks.